We even get uh, military from out of town, like out of state, and uh, first responders from out of state. And uh, they said this is the first time they've ever been to a brewery that's so military friendly. Tack Ops has been open for uh, five years. It's a military themed brewery. When you walk in, right away, you'll see the decorations. And it's uh, all military. So all the doc decorations on our walls are uh, donated by customers. It's from their experiences and uh, their service in the military. It slowly turned into a safe haven for veterans. Come in, drink a beer. Everyone working behind the bar is military and uh, we all have the same experiences. So as soon as you go into a house, it's a big old bunk bunker with a machine gun pointing right out the door and they just light you up. So we lost a lot of guys like that. 80% of our customer base, I'd say, is military and first responder. We even get cops in here and they talk to us about their experiences and, you know, just to get stuff off their shoulders. Sort of like cheers. Evening, everybody. Hey! What do you say, Norm? No, oh, I never met a beer I didn't drink. You know, people come in for cheers and they get a little uh, therapy sitting at the bar. It's exactly the same thing as here. They can talk to us about things because we experience almost the exact same thing that they experience, maybe even worse. And uh, you'll see pictures on the wall from him. And then uh, Seth's uh, helmet and barrel over here on the wall. We chose to hang it here. And what's also important is all their friends and family that aren't military members get to come see it. We always knew we had a great kid and a fine young man, but it's, it's wonderful to see how many other people loved him as much as we did. And we understand, you know, instead of going to a, a doctor and them not really understanding what it is to do certain things, they can come in here and we can relate to them. 